Welcome back to the Crusaders Coliseum Raid Guide. I'm Splug, and in this video I'll be going over our strategy for the heroic difficulty of the Lord Jaraxxus encounter. If you'd like more information or would like to learn more about downloading this movie, click on More Info on the Movie Information box on YouTube to head directly to Tank Spot. Also, be sure to subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button to the right, so you'll automatically be notified as we release movies. The encounter is very similar to its non-heroic counterpart. After completing the Northern Beast's heroic encounter, you will likely find Jaraxxus relatively simple. Some of the abilities derived from previous data mining do not seem to be used in the actual encounter. In particular, the touch of Jaraxxus ability was never observed. Raid composition and positioning are both very flexible. Our raid included 5 healers and 2 tanks, but the encounter has been completed using 6 or even 7 healers as well. We chose to position using half of the room. Healers were placed in the central wedge of the semicircle, and range damage on the two adjacent wings. Everyone was positioned roughly 10 yards apart to allow room for players to run in between them. In retrospect, it may have been ideal to cluster each group tighter, with a gap between groups in an effort to contain lesion lightning for party-based heals. Ultimately, it proved unnecessary. The first change to the encounter from non-heroic involves the add spawn mechanic. Rather than the portals and volcanoes opening, spawning monsters, and then fading away, they need to be taken down by force. These spawn devices have 800,000 health, and as such almost the entire raid should turn and burn them. We left an enhancement shaman on Jaraxxus to handle purges and cast interrupts. The portals should ideally be destroyed before a second mister spawns, or a fourth internal. Once a spawn device is destroyed, the melee return to Jaraxxus while range damage focus fires the adds. The mistresses gain an additional ability. All casting players should be careful to watch for Mistress's Kiss. If a player is afflicted by the debuff, the next channel spell he begins to cast will be interrupted. Most classes can mitigate this by beginning to cast an off-school spell, but Holy Paladins in particular will have to simply accept their Holy School being locked out unless they have Divine Shield available. Or Master does not prevent the interrupt effect. Beyond this, Mistresses behave as before. Tank them in the same general area as the boss to be sure everyone can reach them, and be sure healers are ready to save range from the large burst they perform on a random target. The Fell Fireball, Fell Lightning, Legion Flames, and Incinerate Flesh spells occur exactly as they did on non-heroic difficulty. Fell Fireball should be interrupted, Fell Lightning and Incinerate Flesh will need to be healed through, and Legion Flames requires players to move to the section of the room directly behind the healers as quickly as possible without running anyone over. The damage caused by Fell Lightning is noticeably higher, but otherwise it is not mechanically different. We volcano spawns by having the off tank pick up the first and third infernals, while the Jaraxxus tank taunts and holds the second. The infernals are slightly changed in that they can no longer be stunned or banished to suppress their hellfire channel. All players should be aware of the infernals positioning, and move quickly if one teleports to your general area. The latest version of DBM includes a proximity warning for hellfire. If an infernal lands in the melee area, the Jaraxxus tank will need to relocate the boss. Beyond this, range damage simply focus fire the infernals down one at a time.
Thank you for watching this movie. As per usual, feel free to ask questions or add suggestions either on YouTube or in the strategy thread on tankspot.com. Also, Tankspot donors can download all of these movies in high definition directly from our servers. Click on the second link in the movie information box to learn more.